thanks for joining with us again. We're going to continue a series on the Son, the Bible, and another miracle performed by the Lord Jesus. Today's miracle is found in Matthew chapter 12. Let me just read you a few verses of this account from verse 22. Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb, and he healed him, insomuch that the blind and dumb both spoke and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, Is not this the son of David? And when the Pharisees heard that, he said, This fellow would have cast out devils but by Bezalbub, the prince of the devils. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. So we, we have a miracle here performed by Lord Jesus. Now, the man is possessed with a devil. Now, when Jesus was here on earth, it was common for people to be possessed with devils. And in the, the story today, we've got really just the, the battle between good and evil, between God and the Lord Jesus, the Son of God, and the devil on our hand. Now, you might not believe in the devil, but the Bible tells us the devil is real. The devil was a fallen angel who wanted to be like God, was thrown out of heaven. So he came down to the earth and he wanted to cause as much damage as he could. And he tempted Adam and Eve, first man and woman, caused them to sin. And for this reason, sin came into the world. And the devil now wants to stop, stop you, stop men and women, boys and girls, from coming to faith in the Lord Jesus, from recognising who God is. And from coming and having sins forgiven, the devil is described as the prince of this world. And he wants to blind your mind to the truth of who God is and about how you can have your sins forgiven through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, this man was possessed with, with a devil, which was common in these days. Because when the Lord Jesus was here, the devil was, was at his most active really opposing God and opposing the Lord Jesus. Now, this man here, because he was possessed with a devil, his, his life was a misery. He had no control over himself. And he was also blind and dumb because of the, the devil that indwelt him. But the Lord Jesus transforms the situation. The Lord Jesus throws out the devil, casts out his devil, and the blind and dumb both spake and saw. What a transformation. Now, this transformation in this man here could be a transformation in your life today. We are under the power of the devil, under the power of darkness, but blinded, spiritual blind to, to the truth of who God is and and and, and the message of, of, of the gospel. Perhaps you've read some of the Bible, but it just doesn't make sense to you. That's the devil blinding your mind even today. But this man he has his life transformed. And you day you today can have your life transformed. Now in in the story today, it's really this battle between God, Lord Jesus, the Son of God, and the devil. And the Pharisees here say He's doing this through the power of devils. But the people say, is, it, is not this the son of David? Now David was a great king of Israel. And, and you know it's prophesied in the Old Testament that the king who would come, a Messiah would come in the line of David, the son of David. So Lord Jesus was the one to come and fulfill this prophecy. But you know that, that, that wasn't the start for Lord, for Lord Jesus when he was born as a baby and grew to be a man. He's always existed. He's eternal as I've seen. He's God, God the Son. And he became a man and he came and he went to the cross so that we could have our sins forgiven. So that's, that's what people said. He's the son of David. He's Messiah. Really, he's the son of God. But, but the Pharisees, these religious leaders, they're really blind. They're blinded to who Lord Jesus was. They say that he's, he's actually committing these miracles through the power of the devil. But in our passage here, Lord Jesus points out the flaw of this. 
that the devil can't cast out himself and can't ha harm himself in this way. It has to be a greater power that will come and be able to cast out a devil. Now, the Lord Jesus here, and in he, in his answer, he talks about how um, if someone enters a strong man's house, um, before he can access the goods of that house, he has to bind the strong man, he has to overcome the strong man. And we'd understand that, wouldn't we? Now, what Lord Jesus is, is saying here is that we, we can't transform our lives just, just by self-effort. Wonder the power of the devil. We're not we're not under our own control. And we need someone to come and someone to defeat the strong man, to defeat the devil. But you know the Lord Jesus has come and he's defeated the devil. On the cross he defeated the devil when he died and he defeated sin and death and the grave. So if anyone comes and puts their faith in the Lord Jesus, then they can have their sins forgiven, have their life transformed like this man here. Now, thanks for listening to the message today. It's a very short miracle. Just one verse, verse 22, in this dialogue with the scribes and Pharisees over um, where Lord Jesus was doing this miracle in the power of God or the power of the devil. So I hope you today will come and you'll recognise um, that if you if you're not set for Lord Jesus as your saviour, you really have your have your eyes blinded, your heart blinded, your mind blinded by the power of the devil. And you'll come and you put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus and have your sins forgiven. And like this man here, you'll be rejoicing because you you who were spiritually blind and dumb can now both speak and see. Thank you.